This is exactly what I'm going to talk to you guys about today. Uh, I have no idea where my lav kit is. No idea. Maybe it is not in here. It is not in there. What did we do last week before we shot a video? We searched around for 40 minutes looking for an ND filter that was on the oh. lens you were holding. This is a problem. So, it's a problem. This is exactly what I want to talk to you guys about. There's a flashlight, a random flashlight in my lav kit. Why? Why is that in there? Howdy doody. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, you guys have probably noticed I haven't been uploading videos lately. You might have missed the part where I said I was taking some time off. So I spent a few weeks hanging out with my family, my kids, my wife, and uh, just trying to be around the house and decompress from what was a crazy year. Yeah, none of that happened. My kids and my wife stayed sick pretty much the whole time. I took off work and I just took care of them the whole time. But that's, I'm not here to complain. I'm not, <laughs> it's not what this is about. Taking time off work made me remember or and or realize two things. One, I don't like taking time off work. Like it's necessary every so often, but I hate doing it. Not even just because of the algorithm. Like I expected everything to kind of fall off on the channel pretty quickly. It's expected, it didn't surprise me. What sucks is picking up the pieces. It's like not going to the gym for a while. It almost takes as long to get back into the swing of things as it does, like as, what am I trying to say? <laughs> it takes as long to pick up the pieces and get everything back in order as, why is this not wor words? <laughs> what am I trying to say? If you take two weeks off, it's gonna take about two weeks to get everything back in order. There, it's that simple. That's exactly what happened to me. But the second thing is, I am extremely disorganized. Physically, mentally, professionally, like any way you can be disorganized, I am disorganized. Uh, the businesses have grown, or the business, this YouTube channel, grew a lot in the last few years, and I just kept everything in my head, and um, that means that like phone calls, trying to remember who I'm calling and when, I would totally forget. That call never happened, pretty much any time I had a call scheduled. So uh, when I got back, I decided to turn everything on its head and focus on getting organized because also in September, I added a second business to this, Carry Commission. We brought it back and it's been running as a real legitimate business this time, not just some side project that I drop stuff on every so often. We're keeping things in inventory. Alex is packing orders every single day. We're adding things to the store. It's running like a true business. So because of that, because I have Alex and I have Jordan who's helping me run carry commission, I needed to get things straight and it took two weeks. I literally spent the last two weeks trying to organize everything digitally, electronically, as far as business and stuff goes. Tasks, lists, project management, getting back on track with calls and emails. I have sat at a computer for two weeks straight just organizing and I feel like I'm about 20% done. <laughs> but that at least gets me to the point where like we can get operations back and running, we can start making videos. But that means that it's also time to physically organize because, well, when I walk in this office, I love this room, but I never come in here. I don't like my other office. Like I do like it, but I don't like going in there because both of these rooms are messy. They're cluttered, there's stuff everywhere and nothing is organized. I mean, just look, we walked in here. I actually cleaned up both of these rooms before this video because it was so bad, it was almost embarrassing, but there's literally knives everywhere. Flashlights, pens in any desk, drawer, cabinet, closet, box. They're all filled with just random stuff. Let's, let's just show you a, a, an example of what stresses me out. I go to make a video, I sit down at this table and I typically have a cart under this table so that I can pull the things up that I'm talking about. But this is what happens after just like two videos. They've actually been like this for uh, probably as long as you've been working here, right? July? It's pretty much what they look like all the time. So basically, I'm supposed to have these cleaned out and then I can just grab what I'm talking about and put it up here. But what happens is I have two of them. I bought one and I was like, oh, this one's really messy. I'll just buy another one. 
And then what happens is I offload everything into this one and then I'll have an empty one and then the video's done and I'll do it again and again and again and eventually I'll come through and pick stuff up that I need but this has become a problem and this is, it's an eyesore. I mean, look, I've got really cool like discontinued stuff that you can't find just sitting here in this tray. These old brasswork Swiss Army knives, they're just sitting there collecting dust. I'm not doing anything with them. Let's come over here. Knives. I forget which knives are over here. These are really nice, some expensive, some hard to find knives. Here's a tray full of random things. We've got some Hitex dice. We have some more Hitex dice. We have Pete's Pirate Life dice. <laughs> uh, coins, Nux that were not released. A custom carry commission Nux that I did with uh, PNW Toast Co. This unreleased Pete's Pirate Life puck thing. I just have random stuff everywhere. Like, literally everywhere. Knife scales. Never even, like, put them on anything. Pens, just hanging out. Watches, more knives. Some pouches. <laughs> like, they're just stuff everywhere. More pouches. More pouches. Here's a tub full of fixed blades. There's another fixed blade. Yeah, and this is, I bought all these tubs and stuff to organize things. How long did that last? How long? I don't think we ever actually set it up. <laughs> we might have done it once. Once, yeah. I swear, every single time I see Rick, he gives me more pouches. These are only one of the, I know I have more over there of these same pouches. And this is my office. So that's the studio. This is the office where I do my planning and take all my phone calls. It's my little private room that I can kind of disappear from the world and get some stuff done. But because of that, it becomes like a cluttered mess. This is just my little coffee table. Here's some stuff from Big Idea Design, like the new Bit Bar and some new Slim pens. Um, just a pouch, another pouch. That's just got a bunch of random stuff, some beard oil from Jeremy. Like, I didn't stage this. This is just how it was when I walked in this morning. Pocket organizer from EDC 1971. Look, when's the last time I touched these knives? I couldn't tell you. Here is a unreleased micarta banter. I don't even know what this is. Oh, that's the superlative knife that was a proto that was sent to me before they were released i don't even know what this is best tech i have no idea i don't know what that is but i have it just so many knives like here i totally forgot many times over that i have this wear knife it's a custom this was my first custom knife and then this is the mecca of cluttered mess like really bad here's a sog power pint a Wells Blade Works custom that I had made. The Bacon Damascus Synapse Gen 1 Synapse XL. Yeah, I believe this is a billet spin gambit coin with a Timascus insert. This one's Zerk with Timascus. Pens. Utility knives, all disorganized, disheveled. Slip joints and Swiss Army knives. More folders that are just kind of thrown in here. I did buy this recently. This is one of the only knives I've bought recently. American Blade Works flashlights. You think this is bad? This is cluttery. This is messy. That's not bad. Look at the wallet drawer. Pouches, wallets, bags. I'm running out of space. I could buy a bigger toolbox, but that's not really the point. I don't want this much stuff in my life. I've been cluttery most of my life and I've, I just don't carry these things. I don't use them. They sit and collect dust. And I've always been a huge proponent of the term or the phrase or whatever you want to call it of no safe queens. I have safe queens because I just have too many knives and I just, let me be real for a moment. Uh, typically when I get pretty candid like this on video, people perceive it as like me complaining or something. I'm not complaining at all. I love my job. I love being able to do this. Uh, and I'm very fortunate to be able to have my hands on all these knives and new and upcoming things and often unreleased things all the time. But I've been doing content creation for over 10 years. I did cell phone reviews before this and I got really sick of cell phones just constantly 
setting up a new one and having to review it and then sending it on its way, like it became work very quickly. And I've felt less like that about knives and EDC gear, but it will eventually get to that point where it feels like work. You get a new knife, even if it's one that you've purchased yourself with your own money. I couldn't help but look at this thing and think, what kind of content could I make about this? It wasn't just a knife, it was different variations of work. Should I make a post about it on Instagram? Should I make a video about this knife? Why did I buy a second one? Like just a million ideas run through your head. So I think the point is it's time to purge. I've got a lot of stuff that I don't use and I don't need. And I, it, it's just time to part ways. It's collecting dust. So I'm going to be listing a lot of my gear, probably 80%, 90% in the Discord in the next week. The Discord is free to join and it is free to purchase stuff from the classifieds. If you want to list things for sale, that is through Patreon. You have to purchase that through Patreon so you can post things for sale in the classifieds. But buying from classifieds, totally free. Joining is free. So you can join, purchase stuff. If you want to check out what I have for sale, go over to the Discord. But that money I'm going to use to fund stuff for the channel, basically. Maybe I buy something that I never would have considered buying before or... Maybe I buy new equipment. I don't really need video equipment, but I mean equipment for my shop so that I can customize stuff. Maybe I buy a laser engraver and I start doing custom work. I don't know, but it's all going to be a reinvestment into what I do, into the channel. I don't really know what that looks like right now, but um, I do know that I need to get rid of stuff. I have way, way, way too much stuff. I have bins and closets and cabinets and cases of knives it's time to part ways. It's time to purge. So all this stuff is going to be listed for sale over the Discord. It'll be linked down below. You can go join. I highly encourage you to go to the Discord and join and hang out and talk there. But if you also want to see what I'm going to be listing for sale, that's where I'm going to do it is over in the Discords and the Classifieds. So that's it for now. Uh, I just think it's time to start fresh and get some of that excitement back for new gear. So that's it. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, carry on.